Welcome back to Killer Gameplays. Looking at level 3 for Egypt and beyond. There are several gates that are closed that won't open till the end of the level. So we'll go in here and do some swimming. Uh, there are five secrets in this level, including one mystery stone, five dragon masks, one sun disc, two golden keys, two silver keys, and a torch. So we've got a lot of stuff to get. Now there's all kinds of pickups around here that we'll have to open gates to acquire. So we'll just swim through and we'll go into this uh, glass pyramid chamber. And inside there is the sun disk. So that's the ultimate goal. Let's get over to this skeleton switch. Gonna open the gate. Doesn't show what, which gate though. But um, pretty soon this area is gonna be flooded with water. So there's several pickups. I I just want to go ahead and get them. Um, there's obelisk in here that we need to point toward the glass pyramid, and we'll electrify it and break the glass to get the sun disk. That's a long ways off though. So there's three rooms like this with obelisks. Um, Now that, that switch there is for a gate, but that I don't believe the gate opens now. We'll have to do some stuff to get that gate to open. So that's pickups in this room. We'll hit the other three rooms. And practice our going over corner skill without falling off. Pretty involved level. It's it can be somewhat confusing, but I finally got it figured out. All right, room number two had some shotgun shells. Going to this last room now. There is a a time lever in here. Um, you don't actually have to to do it this way to get to the upper chamber, but you can just. Uh, Run and jump, grab the uh, ladder from where the skeleton switch is. But here we'll start the uh, time sequence. So we'll run jump over here and 
quickly get over here. There's a large med pack we can get before the gate closes. And we're back at that that pool that we swam up through. Back at the ladder. So you actually, like I said, you don't have to do that time sequence. If you don't want to, you can just uh, run jump through this mm, this metal section. But of course we're going to go up to the upper chamber. <clears throat> and we'll have a some hieroglyph buttons. Got blue, yellow, and red. Um, there's one sequence of buttons that you that you don't even need to press. It goes to a, a punishment chamber. Um, that sequence would be yellow, blue, and red, and it's just full of flames. And all you get is a shotgun, shotgun ammo. It's just not even worth it. So we'll start with the blue, yellow, and red. Go up here and get the shotgun. We got some lizards up here we need to kill. So this is like a hub chamber. It goes to two different sections. We have some buttons that will have to be dealt with later. So we need to open this lava chamber first. Go ahead and get the hardest part. One of the hardest parts done. And let's see that sequence of buttons it would be blue, red, and yellow. So we'll go back to the hieroglyph buttons. blue, yellow, and red. No, blue, red, and yellow. Spent the biggest part of practicing on this particular room here. Let me get my direction straight. Uh, and was determined that I wasn't uh, going to be happy till I could get through it without dying. So. Let's see if I can get a picture here. I have to get a different shot from the inside of the room there. Not sure if that'll be a good shot. But we're going to run jump, slide down backwards, grab, go to the end, backflip, spin and roll, veer to the left, jump, jump, uh, hit the top of the slope and immediately jump. Then this slope here, we're just going to hit the hit the edge, bounce to the next slope, backflip, spin and grab, backflip, 
Very good. This one here, we need to hit the slope, jump, grab this edge. Go all the way to the right. As soon as you pull up on top of the slope, just jump and shimmy around. Here we've got a time sequence for a gate. We're going to pull the switch and do a half tile jump. Veer to the left. Hit these slopes and jump. There we go. So we get a dragon mask for reward. There'll be five of those we need to collect. Then you have a tricky jump to get back out of here. We need to do a run and jump and veer left at the very last second. We need to so wait and then veer. All right, so there's the lava chamber done. And here we're going to go ahead and do the colored tile chamber. And it's yellow, red, and blue. Get two dragon masks in there. And it's it's pretty pretty easy, pretty simple. There are three blocks hidden in the walls that we have to pull out that have uh the hieroglyphs on top. We just need to match them. And I'll show you. We got a, a clear tile floor. And you can see the colors. You got red, yellow, blue. Um, but first to get a gate to open. We'll jump up here, monkey climb, go to these different colored blocks on the ceiling, and they will open gates. Got a second tile here. Approach and the gate will open, and we'll go in here and get one of the masks. Cool. Now we'll give a screenshot of a cham chamber where we'll place a mask. There's the other mask in this other room. We have to open this platform to get in there. And that's where the color tile puzzle comes in. So we'll get down here and we'll, I'll pull these blocks out once and go back up so you can see the colors and what we're actually doing. Alright. 
so we'll go back up and check it out. We just need to match the the hieroglyphs under the glass floor. So we got yellow needs to go in the corner. Blue needs to go in the center. You get the idea. This is the blue one. It'll go in the center. But I probably need to get the yellow one. place first. So we'll pull it all the way, push it in the corner. So here's the first one. This blue block will go diagonal uh, to that one. So we'll pull it back, get it in the center. And start pulling this other one back. I believe it's the red block. Pull it over. Push it ahead. And this will open that platform so we can get in that room. Get the mask. Now, each time, like I said, it'll show that room where we need to place a dragon mask. That's why we get five. Now, there is uh, one more pickup. So we need four masks back at the hidden Tenno's Temple and one for that receptacle. There's a pickup for some shotgun ammo before we leave. I believe we'll do the uh, mirror chamber next. And we'll get one of our five secrets in there. It's going to be red, blue, and yellow. <clears throat> Uh, 
so let's see which way I need to go here. Just straight ahead in that first central chamber. There's one of these masks that are on fire. That's the one we need. And if, if you look in this mirror, there are three different colored tiles. And there's a wall switch that we can't see at the moment. Looking at the wall, but we can see it in the mirror. So we'll drop down on this first tile, jump over to the other one, just backflip, and do a half tile jump to the one in the corner. And we can see our jump switch now. That will extinguish the flame and the secrets over here. Good luck finding that playing blind, Kappa. Plenty of goodies there. Explosive arrows, revolver ammo, large med pack. Now, when we pick this mask up, it's going to drop us into a block puzzle. And it can be very confusing. Let's see which one I need here. Here it is. So, in this room, the first thing we're going to do is kind of uh, create a perimeter. That we can go around this thing. The, the room with the blocks is not very big. We're going to push this one forward. And you can see these other different colored tiles. We need to push blocks into each one of those. I believe there's four of them. There's one there uh, behind me. And we'll just use this ladder for reference. We'll push this one forward twice. Uh. And there's another tile, special tile there. We need to push a block in. Uh, but I believe we'll start with this one since we've got a, a way around the perimeter of this puzzle. Uh. We'll pull this one back, go around to the other side of it, push it forward, come back and push it into that that uh, trigger tile. There's a trigger tile there. So this is the same block. Let's push it forward once. Then we'll go around. There's a couple of tiles here, or blocks we need to lower. It's going to give us room to move blocks and, and uh, give us a secret, too. So, here it is. Just need to push it forward. This one next to the ladder is the one we need. And you'll see the ground kind of shake. So we got another trigger tile over to the left. We'll just pull that same block out, go around, pull it back twice. Go back around and push it in place. See that lowered one of the tile of uh, the blocks there to the secret. So we're just working on that one block right now going. 
back around to the other side of it. Go around, push it into place, and then we won't have to worry about that block again. Um, got another trigger tile there. We'll take care of that one in just a second. Push this one forward and once we do this for all the tiles it will lower a block to a mask. So we got this set of tile here to my left. Might as well get that one done. Just need to pull it back. Uh. Go around the perimeter, push it forward. And then we'll Need to pull it all the way back around the corner. And get it in that last trigger tile. So that's as far as we can pull it. We need to go around and put it there. That's where we need to place it. And you can tell where we are because the uh, the torch light. So back around. We'll pull it back. Now we can use these blocks that have lowered. We can use it to uh, use those passages to push this into place. push it forward and then all this block pushing and pulling is over with. Get a cutscene for a block lowering. Um, here, here's a secret here. So that's the 13th secret of the game. We'll go collect the mask. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Just pushing blocks into uh, on pressure tiles. That'll drop a hatch. So we need to open the dragon mask receptacle cha chamber and place one of those. Die. And the sequence on the buttons will be red, yellow, and blue.
Gotta find where it's at. We'll go up to the supper chambers to the left. <laughs> and this this room here. This is where we've been getting that screenshot. Place this one, that'll leave us four for the Tenos Temple. When we revisit it at the end of the level here. But you can get back in after the door closes, there's your 14th secret there. Kind of a sneaky secret. <clears throat> Who would think about going back into the same room? So we can start in this uh, glass pyramid room now is flooded. This is where I was talking about I didn't want to have to pick these, get these pickups. Now we can swim into these three rooms and pull these levers. Don't have to worry about finding pickups. It's all done. It's all good. So we got this room. Each time, if you'll swim at an angle where the top of the water is, she'll get air easier. If you swim straight up, she doesn't want to get up to the air. We got one more lever to the right. Cool. That's going to open a gate. What we need to do is raise the water level even higher than it is. You can also go ahead and take care of the 15th secret here. Just swim over here, pull the lever, it'll open a gate, and just go get her done, man. Get it over with. You can't wait till later, but really no sense in waiting. The gate's open. So we're getting ready to do a, a long time swim, be on a timer. But we need to raise the water level just a little bit more. So we'll go through the newly opened gate here. Pull up and find this other lever that will flood the area up to this point here.
so now that we got that done, we can get over in this corner here. And we want to do this part quickly. Like, get to the next lever quickly. Otherwise, uh, if you waste too much time, you won't make the time swim. So, we've been through here before. We're, now it's all flooded. Pull this lever here. And we'll go forward and get a cutscene of which direction we need to go. There's the time gate there. It's a hell of a swim, man. And the camera will come back around to where we are. So, you know, getting to this point where the half, half oxygen or something like crazy like that. So we quickly need to get up here and pull this lever to open the time gate. And by the time she does her animation and flips her crazy ass around, we're about out of oxygen. So we need to do this quick. Just follow the where the uh, cutscene showed. We can swim down here. Here's the open gate. So we're going to have to chug some med packs to make the very last part of this. <sighs> ah, there we go. So the quicker you can get to that very first lever, the better off you are. Alright, this will drain these rooms where we can turn these obelisks. We need to point them all toward that glass pyramid. So this very first one, we need to point it toward the north. First there's we gotta move this block around to a couple of pressure tiles. There's one here, one on the other side of the room. This one opens the gate. I'm not sure if you need to, you know, take the time to push it over to the other one, but I just went ahead and did it. Um, it might open up gate or something I'm not aware of. skinny legs All right. 
There we go, finally. So, point this one to the north. You have to look at the obelisk to see which is the uh, the pointed side. second one we need to face it pointing east so I believe we push this one twice And here we'll go up through this passage. This tile that you back onto, you need to be over to the left side. Uh, we need to shoot these bones to open the next gate. And this one needs to face south. Okay, we're getting there. So we go back over here. Now there's been a chain over here we haven't pulled. And that's going to activate the hammers to electrify the obelisk and bust open the glass pyramid. Cool beans. All right. Grab the uh, the sun disk. And we'll get another little cutscene here. So we need to go back up through the, uh, go up to the hub chambers above. Jump back over to the ladder and get up. There's going to be a couple of uh, executioners up here. And they're going to drop some keys. There's two of them. Nasty enemy. Shoot you with electric bolts. But there is a little trick to them. If you just shoot them once with the shotgun and put your shotgun away, they'll they'll die quicker. So 
said I start off with a round of electricity or fire. Need to shoot them. Sometimes it takes a few tries. There we go. You know, they're finicky. You have to see how they're going to act when you're killing them. But he'll drop a key. <clears throat> so we'll place that key and it will spawn another one. So, not drawing the guns yet, just jumping around. There we go. That one was easy. But when we place this next key, it's going to trigger a bull. Del Toro. And we need to lure him to bust these forest tiles on the wall. So he will quickly kill the shit out of you if you don't get out of his way. With those horns. And I think we trigger them over here <clears throat> go into this passage and that'll trigger them here it comes so I'd like to get him away from the button wall and get him to charge the button. You know, of course, standing in where the button is and then side flip. Okay. So I'll be getting save points along the way. We need to lure him to the next room. Nope, oh, wrong room. So I'll get opposite of where the button is and wait on him. Uh, oh shit. Uh, ah. Dead meat. Uh, Start over from that last save point, do that again. Get over here. Try to jump over him. <sighs> Come on, dude. the second button Let's go back over here for the third button get to the opposite wall and we'll wait on them this way. Arriba! Uh. Okay. So there's four of those horse tiles. We've got three of them done. We'll go back through that opening or that gate with the cutscene which is back over this way and go to the back hall. Take a right. 
there's going to be a glass floor and what we want to do is when we see him coming straight at the butt of the tile we need to do a half tile jump because this whole glass floor will break and there's lava underneath so it's like a two tier glass floor one here one underneath so we'll get ready do a half tile jump so we can get over here now he's down below on the glass floor below but we can duck in here down lower and uh, get to a jump switch That'll open the gate. I believe that opens where the uh, where the torches are too. But so back over this way is the way we came in. We're going to the right here. And he seems to be stuck on this side here. I'm gonna try to lure him over to the right um, you can cast your shadow on the floor maybe that'll help move him we'll try it anyway over this way dude I don't know if that worked or not we're just gonna go for it drop down from that lower ledge there he is now if we get over in this hallway he can't come in this hallway so what we need to do is get him to hit this lower button and diagonal jump back into this hallway. There we go. Cool. Now he's dead meat. He's drowning in lava. See you. And we get a large med pack. Whoopee. So we'll grab one of these torches and we got this other area that hasn't opened until now that we looked at at the beginning of the level. Got some suspended swords, but they're not activated now, so we don't have to worry about it. But um, let's do a little investigating over here. We don't need the torch right now. We'll just put it here. Uh, we've got a platform that needs to lure and some shotgun ammo. You don't want to pick the shotgun ammo up right now. It will spawn a couple of executioners. So there's a gate over here. First thing we need to do is open that gate. And the switch is over here. You can see a mystery stone in the distance there. We'll be getting that. And that will be the 16th secret. Fifth in this level. Fifth one in this level. So we'll go back out and up, get to the gate we opened. It's full of all kinds of tricky corner tiles and edges you can slip off into the uh, lava. So we'll give her a shot here, see if we can slide down. Ah, shit. All right. That's, that's what we need to do, but we need to be over to the right a little bit. 
Man, she won't slide off to her death. Run, jump over here. There's a lever we can go ahead and get up here. It will open that underwater platform back next to the shotgun shells for way back in there. Most of these corner tiles like this, you need to turn sideways and get in the very corner like this. And then you can run and jump further. You need that little bit extra further to get there. And there are some flat tiles we can stand on. But we need to get a full run and jump here. So we'll back all the way up in the corner, get a full run and jump to a flat spot over to the right. Whoa, baby. Same deal here, corner tile, get all the way in the corner. And we need to hit the uh, left side of this flat edge straight ahead. So we'll get a full run and jump here. Just barely make it. Alright, here's the uh, mystery stone. Last secret of this level. And there's some revolver ammo here. So now we just got to get out. We got to go straight ahead and over to the right. And we'll go up as far as we can here. Get a full run and jump over to the right. It's kind of tricky because you can't see which tiles or you can stand on and which ones you can't. Here we'll get all the way over in the corner. We're going to do a run and jump. Press forward on the controller keyboard. Get up here. Oh, all right. Now we can swim back around to that gate we opened. Get back to the where the shotgun shells are. We got two more executioners that are going to show up drop two keys we need those keys to be able to light the fire and light the torch that torch is a necessity for the next level So we'll get a save point here, go ahead and grab this ammo and take care of these executioners. So they, they are triggered if you have your weapon uh, they're triggered to fire that uh, lightning bolts at you 
or flame, whatever it is, blue flame. So you got to put your weapon up so they'll quit doing that nonsense. All right, place these two keys there to light the fire. Then we can light the torch. Nice. All right, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Get back through the transporter and revisit the hidden Tenos Temple. So here we are. Uh, you might remember from the last video there were some uh, receptacles for dragon masks there up above. We'll leave the torch here, head to the west, I believe, and get up higher. I don't know if you can see them from here. Nope, not really. I'm thinking we actually come back here one more time or we pass by up above on some of the balconies later might be in the next level but this will be like 99.9% .9 of everything done if I'm remembering correctly. Seems like there's a balcony way off in the distance that we briefly visit for a second in that upcoming level. So we'll go around here and we can drop down and place two of those masks. There's two more on this other side we need to get to. So we're just getting over to the other side to place the other ones. So, so far the levels have been averaging around, you know, almost an hour. Uh, well, an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I don't know if that'll be the case for every one of the videos, but uh, it just makes sense to just do it all in one video. Um, I don't like breaking up videos if I or levels if I can help it. As long as it's not like two hours long, I would probably break that up, but I don't know. 
I want each level to be easily accessible, so. This one was almost like an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Somewhere thereabouts. So when we place these other two, though, it will activate another transporter to the next level. There we go. So I believe we'll take the easy way down instead of, or the quick way. As long as she doesn't hit one of these bridges down below me. Hello. Ah, there we go. And we'll go back, grab the torch, and head to the new transporter in the next level. Um, is the tor the torch challenge, and it's very uh, challenging, to say the least. So I hope everybody dug the video. Uh, if you would, leave a comment and a like. Thanks to my new subscribers as well. Hope everybody enjoyed it, and uh, meet me on the next video, and we'll get some more done in this huge game. Thanks for hanging out with KG, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Hope everybody has a great day, and see you later.